What's up guys on YouTube today? How are you guys today? Well, welcome to kind of the big antenna project I am doing for two radios. I have a Bose 123 unit and I also have a Toshiba stereo receiver. It has a FM tunnel in it and this also has a F uh, FM tunnel in it as well. But my curious is trying to only use one antenna instead of using two antennas. But I just don't know if this is going to work or not. And by the way, I do have a Philips uh, antenna right here. It's a uh, pretty cheap antenna, but it's not really the greatest antenna. I also have a piece of Colux cable right there. And I also have the Colux cable. I also have an amplifier, a cable splitter some Colux compression fittings and also some BCN uh, crimp on connectors. But this is the most of the unit I want to explain to you guys about. This is called a antenna slash cable switch, AB switch here. You can hook up to your cable or your antenna to your TV and stuff. But this is a very vintage uh, little guy here, but I don't think you can get these anymore because they're not being made that much. This is actually a Radio Shack brand AV switch. It's a very old unit. It's a still, it still works, by the way. Actually, I'm very surprised everything works on it. But you guys can see here are some of the connections somewhat on the bottom. And on here, we have a couple inputs and outputs. On here, we have two cable inputs and TV somewhat outputs on this unit. But yeah, it's a somewhat pretty old, old little guy here. And here is the front. That's all this does is you just push these buttons and you can actually just switch your uh, antenna or your cable. And this might help me out on fixing or trying to use one antenna with two radios. But honestly, guys, I just don't think this is actually going to work or, or at all because I just don't know. And I just have this little cheaply antenna, and it has a Colex connector on it. That's kind of cool. And I also have this very short Colex cable to actually do test out the antenna on this guy as well. And by the way, I also have own stuff like my connectors, you guys can see. Colex cable my amplifier and also this little as well but I don't know how this is going to turn out guys I don't know if this is going to work or this is going to completely be a completely bust heel guys or completely fail I don't know but we're gonna go ahead and we're going to test out this little AV switcher here to see if it's going to work or not going to work here guys now I don't know I don't know if you can hook up multiple units to one of these and find out if it works or if it doesn't work. I don't know. I'm going to probably stick with this with my plans as well with the idea of a antenna project on the type of antenna I'm going to use. I don't know what type of antenna I'm going to use. I don't know if I'm going to use an indoor antenna or an outside antenna. But, but the reason why this guy's all the way over here is... This is where everything's normally set up for my TV and stuff. But the antenna just does not get a good signal from across my room. And let's go ahead and show you some of the guys here. You guys can see this one. You guys see this before. It's just a standard cheaply uh, antenna and a standard Colux cable. And we're just going to go ahead and we're going to screw this. Uh, into the back of the unit here in the back of my 123 bows unit for the antenna module that's on the back of it and we're going to kind of like scoot that out the way and we're going to go ahead and scoot this guy over here it doesn't matter where I plug this into I'm going to plug it into the central post of this uh, little switch here and by the way, by putting it here, we can hook two antennas, or one antenna to one of these little main posts. 
But this is a very nice game to actually have for a couple of reasons because for the sound project you can do and you have multiple radios you want uh, this some type of switch to able to control the antenna itself. And by the way I do have can adjust the uh, antenna rabbit ears as well. But yeah you can see everything's somewhat connected to this auto AV switch of type of switch I have here. But you guys can see there you go, it just sit still and I hope it works. And let's go ahead and somewhat turn the volume up on the radio a little bit here. Just to quick demonstrate it does seem to work. And we just switch this and we now get the stack. If we switch it to A, now you get the music. But like I said, I just don't know if this is going to be a very good idea to use or not to use. I just don't understand a whole lot about antennas. Uh, mind you guys, this is some a uh, lot of it new for me to actually design my own antenna and try to get my own antennas to work with all sorts of different connectors I have floating around inside my room. And this is just what she looks like. That's a standard A B switch. Okay. A B. That's all she is. It's just an A B switch. And a very unique design as well. You guys can see you got your cable, your cable, and your TV. But you can hook up two cable boxes and one out. It only depends on where you want to hook the connectors on the back. And like I said, guys, this is a very old unit. And like I said, I don't think you can actually find these uh, as much anywhere anyways. Because I don't think they really make them too much anyways. Now, the ideal is I'm going to connect, again, the cable to the back of this one. This time I put it in the center. But this time I'm going to put it on the end of the little guy though. And we're going to go ahead and just take the antenna wire. And we're just going to stick it on the opposite side, on the middle of the unit as well. And I will also talk about the amp file as well. The amp file is this little guy right here. It's going to help somewhat to amplify my signal through my antenna I'm going to use. Here we got power and we also got the uh, input for the antenna and power and output here. This is a nice antenna or a nice amplifier as well. And because I'm going to use the antenna on it, I think it will work just fine with the antenna as well. And that's just my Colux cable. And this is just my splittle. I might just stick with this ideal instead of going with the switch. But I just haven't decided on what I'm going to do with that yet. But I'm going to make my own connector. As you guys can see, it was one of those compression fittings. Cable uh, compression fittings though. And here is one of those VCN compression uh, crimp on uh, as well for this project and stuff like that. But it's unique to actual experiment with different things. And let's go ahead and slightly turn up the volume. See what we get. And we got some music. And we also got some stack kill. And that's a good thing. And the reason why that's a good thing is we want the stack. Because there's nothing hooked up to this side. On this guy here. Now it doesn't matter what the layout you guys decide to do with your AB switch. It doesn't matter if you hook the antenna here and the cable out to your devices. It only matters on what you guys want to be able to do with your own technology and your vintage equipment. Now this is uh, somewhat old. Okay guys. Now this is a Radio Shack brand by the way. It's a, a decent uh, little uh, AB switch. Uh, piece of equipment. It's just may not going to work for everything, but it's good to have and it's good to experiment with your different types of technology you have. The reason why I want to do this is to see if I can use this one single antenna instead of actual two antennas. 
see if I can use the one antenna for both of my radios. Yeah, as you can see, it's a very nicely designed. I really do like this little guy as well. This might go with the rest of my antenna project. I think I would use this for all my antenna projects. One antenna, two radios. Antenna can go here, and two outputs of the antenna's wires can go here for the both of the radios to be able to work together. Now, it's uh, somewhat of a design I'm, I'm trying to figure out and see if it's going to work. I hope it does, but I don't know, guys. This is just my big antenna project. This is going to take some time and also some money as well. Alright, guys, if you are all very new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button. And also, if you guys have any ideas, leave the comments down below. Please like, please share, please wait. Peace out. Bye, guys. We'll see you in the next vlog.